Hello and welcome to my uh, eBay auction for this uh, little Chevrolet Matiz. Um, the car is a very good runner, um, but the bodywork uh, does have a few blemishes on. You can see here, just on the uh, headlight of the wing, um, there's a dent there, um, just on the, above the rear wheel arch, and the, the scuff continues here into the bumper. Come along the uh, driver's side of the car, we've got a tiny nick here in the mirror, as you can see. Uh, we've got the nick on the door there door's been caught. Some key scratches uh, around there. Again we've got a scratch here uh, approximately I would say six inches in length. Uh, this is on the driver's side rear door. A dink just above here. So as I come around the car we've got some more sort of key scratches here. Bump graze uh, on this corner here. Again coming around the back of the car here. As you can see, another bump of greys here. Um, that's just polished marks in there. You know, we've just had the car clean so we could uh, highlight all the marks. A couple of marks here. This is the back uh, uh, passenger side, near side. Um, there's a, a kink here in the, uh, in the in the rear door there, as you can see. A few more marks in that door. Uh, trolley dink there, which hopefully is coming up on the camera. A mark in the door there. As we come around to this front, we can see the marks that continue there on the front of the vehicle. Um, bonnet, pretty clean overall. We've got a little uh, rust scab there and one there, just sort of stone chips um, that have created some surface rust. No chips or anything in the windscreen. All of that is absolutely fine. Inside the car, um, could do with a really good clean, really. Um, just where you know the drivers and passenger have had bracelets or whatever on, they've just uh, taken some of the surface uh, stuff off there. So benefits of a passenger rear bag. Uh, driver's seat's got some wear here, as you can see, on both sides of the lumbar there. So they don't affect the operation of the seat in any way, but they need a little bit of love. Um, okay, you've got the Isofix um, rear seats. And of course, uh, for a small car, it's great to have a five-seat vehicle with um, five seat belts. Uh, go back inside the car again. Okay, so I'm now sat uh, obviously in the driver's side of the car. So the clocks we've got uh, up here, as you can see. Just going to fire the car up. So it fires up straight away. Sounds very nice. Just turn the radio down. As you can see here, it's literally just turned 48,801 miles as of today's date. Uh, today is uh, Sunday, April the 12th. Um, okay. Uh, over here, uh, I haven't got my seat belt on and obviously the handbrake's on, that's what those two lights are, so handbrake off, handbrake on. Uh, driver side airbag, and um, we've got air conditioning as well. Uh, air conditioning, uh, CD, uh, stereo radio cassette there, which is a face off uh, for security purposes, obviously. Uh, and then you've got your clocks in here, back to here. So there we've got the speedo, rev counter, and uh, fuel gauge. And as you can see, rev the car, revs absolutely fine, drives very well. It's got power steering as well. Power steering makes it very, very light um, to turn, uh, which is nice. It's, it's actually, it's a very pleasant car to drive. The bodywork is not great. The interior is in much better condition other than the driver's seat. Uh, fact of the matter is, it's, it's you know, we're starting it on eBay at one pound. It's great sort of first car or run around for somebody. Somebody who wants uh, something's very low on insurance and very economical, of course. Petrol is cheaper than diesel, and uh, these cars are reported to do upwards of 60 miles to the gallon. Some people say as much as 70. I don't think when a car is a, a 2006 year, although it's not that old, that it would be uh, as economical as they were when they came out the factory, because obviously the engines have wear and tear. So I don't think saying it's now just 70 miles a gallon is realistic, um, and there's no guarantee to what it does, but you know, I'm sure it's going to be close to 60, if not more. Um, so very, very, very economical. Uh, and as you can see, I'm showing you everything. Good, honest description of the car. We've got four electric windows uh, down here. Uh, nice patterns in the interior. Um, good speaker system uh, in the car here. We've got speakers at the top there. Um, yeah, nice car overall. Split folding rear seats, rear parcel shelf, lots of bits and pieces. Um, so this is it. We're offering it one pound, no reserve. If you've got any queries, please get in touch with me. My name is Howard Bowes, and uh, my company is Harvey Bowes Limited. We're mortgage and finance brokers. We also get the odd car that comes in uh, back off lease that we uh, that we uh, sell, and this car has been a part exchange for one of those vehicles. That's how it's come to us. Uh, the car's had one 
Uh, it was owned by the garage first, Newtown Motors, with a Chevrolet dealer supplied it, and then it's had one private lady owner uh, since uh, that to to now, to current date. Uh, we've also got a service history with the car as well. So thank you for looking. Happy bidding.